new mentality, a new culture of hospitals working with one another, both within the public system as well as the private system. This is going to be all hands on deck. This is everybody helping everyone else. Uh, one hospital gets overwhelmed, the other hospitals have to, have to flex to help that hospital and vice versa. New York hospitals gearing up for a surge of new patients in the coming weeks as state and city leaders fight to flatten the curve on the coronavirus pandemic. The number of deaths rising dramatically in New York in just the past several days, most of them in New York City. David Lee Miller is live for us in Manhattan this morning where a makeshift field hospital is being built in Central Park. David Lee. Sandra, New Yorkers are a very jaded bunch. Now many simply cannot believe what they see taking place in Central Park. Behind me, a 10-city temporary hospital being constructed. The location here, directly across the street from New York's Mount Sinai Hospital. A hospital here, like so many, struggling to cope with the increasing number of virus patients. The roadway separating the hospital and Central Park, Fifth Avenue, a street that has some of the most expensive real estate in the world. Now, here at this location in Central Park, since Sunday, this 10 city has been under construction. By the time it's done on Tuesday, there will be 14 tents that have been constructed. About half that many have now been set up. This is the work of a group called Samaritan's Purse, based in North Carolina. They have brought with them as many as 60 healthcare professionals, including doctors, nurses, and paramedics. Mayor Bill de Blasio says he's grateful for the help. We're going to be using every place we need to use to help people. A Mount Sinai hospital working with a relief organization named Samaritan's Purse is creating a 68-bed field hospital. So this is the kind of thing you will see now as this crisis develops and deepens. Among the 68 beds that the mayor talked about, 10 will be intensive care capable, equipped with ventilators. New York continues the race against time to increase the total number of hospital beds before the virus reaches its apex. And other help has already arrived. A plane from China touched down at New York's JFK airport on board. More than 100,000 N95 masks, 1.8 million surgical masks and gowns, and more than a million gloves. The supplies were brought here as part of a White House-led project called Project Airbridge, a partnership of the federal government and private industry. FEMA will distribute supplies to the New York region as well as other high-risk areas. And the measures that have been put in place uh, by both the city and the state, they do appear to be making a difference. The latest statistics show that the number of hospitalizations are now doubling at a rate of only, if you will, only double every six days. Meanwhile, the death rate, though, continues to rise. Sandra. What a sight that is, right in the middle of New York City and New York's Central Park. David Lee Miller, thank you.